G'day YouTube, Homer81 here, and welcome back to Harvard Gaming. Today we're back on the Gen X server, and I think I'm being stalked by someone at the moment. I saw someone over there. Uh, golden zombie pigment, uh, golden zombie is also on this way over here. Um, I am currently trying to move villages, which is um, lots of fun at the moment. I have picked my time and rain to do it, so uh, nothing could possibly go wrong here. I'm currently also joined by uh, Tuki. As I called him. Hey. Oh, don't hit him over the fence, God. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Oh! No! Bad. That's a problem, man. That's that, a problem. That was bad. Where's he, where's he even going to? I don't know. Dude. There are two witches over there. Guys, look. Look at no. Uh, no. no. the field. Zombie. There's two witches. No! Zombie! There! Ah. Ah. Is that the cleric stuff. from? Uh, is that the cleric from the village? Uh, no, he was actually a zombie pigman. But, um, oh, it's just, the one that was in the hall. Why do I keep saying zombie pigman? God. Zombie villager. Yes, thank you. Hey, there are two wishes over here. I don't know if it's a good thing to bring him over all the way over there. Um. Okay. There's mobs. There's a creeper, and yeah, two witches. So what I'm doing is um, I'm trying to move these guys to my new base so that I can set up um, infinite villager breeder. I'm going to need one more villager. I've got two so far. This most recent one was um, thanks to uh, Red Bull Paul. And the other one was I caught myself. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dangerous over there. Let's see if we can clear this off a little bit. Damn it, the witch slowed me. Uh oh. And poisoned me. And hit me. No. Oh, okay. She's done. There's another one, though. Can go away. Oh, creeper. Watch out. Alright, we have flame two. I've also been doing a little bit of enchanting, uh, thanks to Hollywood's um, skeleton grind that he set up. Power three, infinity one, flame one. By the way, uh, where's, the, where's the grinder he set up? It is where's my orientation just over this way. See which way I'm facing. Um, no, I can't see you. I think I'm too far now. Okay. Yeah. It's um. All right, I can see you now. Okay, that way. All right, thanks. Can't miss it. Much check it out. There. Is there an enchantment table there, or do we need to? I believe he's got a pretty well set up there. All right. It, there is actually there's two enchantment tables, so that you can do a level one enchant, or you can do a uh, level thirty. Is it a mess or, so, or in the forest? Sort of uh, away from the mess, sort of. Where were you? Oh, I found it. I found it, yeah. Yep. God. I swear to God, if it's not dangerous, I didn't do it because everything I do seems to be incredibly dangerous. I make tiny little skinny paths in the nether, I always build on top of something extremely high and dangerous. And now I'm trying to corral villages in the middle of the night. In the rain. Come on. You need to go now. Oh, this looks pretty neat. Yeah, Hollywood's um, very good at doing those. It's sort of his um, favorite thing to do on a server is to find a skeleton spawn and do that. It's actually, um, he also plays on my realm server. And um, first thing he did, <laughs> find a skeleton spawner and get it set up. Come on. Move. God, villages are so frustrating. If you could hold a diamond and they'd follow you, that'd be perfect. It would be an emerald in their case, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, that's what I meant, emerald. Just people you shouldn't Minecraft when you're tired. <laughs> this guy's so reluctant. Move. Move. I should have gone for minecarts instead. I thought this, I thought this would work alright, but things would like be getting stuck on the wall. It is so warm today. Oh, God. Maybe where you are. But yeah. autumn, in, autumn in Australia. Well, you're in the southern hemisphere, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, Flambo is pretty much useless in the uh, rain. What does this guy want? Seriously. Come on, go. Stay in competition. I do think my uh, sound's not working. Let's see if I can just update that audio. We'll check this. Yeah, it's alright. Um, okay, good to go. I, have, I must have the weather effects turned down. 
I almost forgot to take my lapis with me for enchantment. There's some down there, it's a bit of a um, pretty much just use common sense kind of thing. Like, um, you know, refill and whatnot. Come on. There's even a mm -hmm. chest there of unwanted enchants, and I got infinity for my bow. I'm like, whoa. That's pretty <laughs> generous. Alright, you are going to get locked up because this is not working. So, a quick little tour of my new base. I'm setting up over here. I found a nice little spot in the middle of the uh, water here. And I even made a nice little entrance just over here. That's where I'm trying to get the guy to go down. So what I think I'll do is get some iron, make a minecart and some tracks, and we'll try this again. Alright, this is working much better. Step one. Hey, well, in the list of commands. Step two, not raining. Step three, rails and minecart. So this guy's run on his way to his new home. Um, this guy is a clerk and he will be the one who actually creates the village underground for me. Come on. There we go. So he's me past him and do this on the corner. I'm trying to no, I don't think there's a slash restart command. I think we need bucket for that. Doing some admin type stuff in the background here. So um, is bucket something we can add just for the sake of getting things like that or you know automatic restarts. Well, bucket is just something bucket is really just a, a jar that lets the server have plugins. Yeah. So, wouldn't really have a problem with that. There was some interesting talk about plugins and stuff like um is it okay to use things like um the one that lets you get heads or um one where only one person needs to sleep. Some things that other servers use like um Hermacraft have the thing where you only have to have one person to sleep. Whoa, disconnected. Is someone testing the slash reset command? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry for that. It works. It came back up pretty quick too. Wow. Someone try? No, it's fine. As long as we're off, I think it's okay. But I'm stuck in the ground, so that's cool. <laughs> Okay, this guy's going down, down, down. Well, you should, you should try it to start with this. I, I will do it in a minute. I'm just gonna get this going. Sure, that means you just can can fight, just flash restart into um, position. Okay, let's get some more track going. It's very dark down here. I really should put more torches just in case. Uh, I'm also going to have an instant um, zombie farm here because. As soon as I put this guy into place, somebody's going to be trying to get in here. Waving well, right now, they're probably trying to get in here. Um, so it is there. Let me just think, remembering my tutorial. He needs to be on this side of it. So what is happening is this guy's going to um, create a village because he's going to have six doors in front of him, and those doors will have light directly overhead. And then we'll have a cell nearby. This is the same design that I used on Krypton Craft. Um, I think I know what went wrong there, so we shouldn't have the same problem again. In that instance, I think we um, had too many villages in one area for six doors, so we weren't getting any more. And then I broke it because I didn't have um, the right villages in there. A little bit messy. One, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three. And then it's two rows of doors. So that should be it. He should be sitting right there. And we just need some half slabs to hold him in place. And we'll just do a piece of track here for now and like that. Alrighty. I was wondering how I should do this. I'm always not sure about like um once I have villagers spawning. I need to make some sort of contraption that lets me um, assess a single villager, determine if I want to keep him or not. The ones I don't want to keep can just get um, killed unless it's a farmer. Obviously we want to always keep farmers. Um, and then display the rest for people to come and check out and, and if they want one they can they can grab one. So I don't know if anyone has any suggestions for some sort of little sorting machine. Okay, go. 
I have no idea, man. I'm so bad at redstone, so don't ask me. There's definitely some people who um, have redstoners and some that I know. I'm definitely not. I need to refer to my daughter's um, redstone um, manual to work out how to do a piston door. <laughs> uh, so there's no, there's no shame in that. Uh, but I'm, I have big ideas and I like to build big, so that's my sort of thing. <laughs> Come on, in you go. Uh, I'm sick and tired of staring at this guy. He's got lovely green eyes and all, but geez, that nose is a bit distracting. Come on, in you go. So um, the other villager that I have, uh, like I said, is a shepherd, so he's classed as a, um, a farmer. So he's one of the ones you need to be able to do breeding. So this guy will, be, will create the village, but then I need my farmer and one other villager of any type to um, start the breeding cycle. But also they're going to need some more blocks to um, actually create the breeding um, cell. So I'm going to get some more things set up and I'll be right back. Alright, made a lot of progress. I have built uh, the infinite villager spoiler down here. That's all boxed in at the moment because I'm just about to load the villagers in. Make sure the spoiler at the bottom. Yes. Um, I think this is a design by Unirebit. And I will be posting the link in the description. Check his little YouTube. Alright, so we're going to let this guy out. Oh, spelling. Spelling is good. Whoops. A little bit of love that there. Oop, yep, good. Run off. Go on. Get water ready to push you if I need to. You seem to be doing alright. Now, has he been traded with before? He doesn't need to be. But he has been traded with. A few times, but looks like he's been busy. Do, 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 do. Thorns, punch, name tag. <laughs> 22 emblems for a name tag. Very nice. Uh, books, and this one's Aqua Infinity 1. So he's not fantastic. But that doesn't matter because he's about to make us very, very rich. I'm going to pop him on the server too. Come on. One more step. I know it's a big step, but let me give you a hint. There you go. Not so hard, is it? Whee! First one in. Alright, now the important one. This guy is a farmer. Shepherd also unlocked. You only have to do one trade to unlock shepherds usually, so you've got all different colours of wool. Fantastic. Don't have much use for that. So, you are going to be serving a much more useful purpose. Can't quite reach behind him. There we go. Hey, look at him go! I don't think you like the idea of that shower. Oop, right there. And around the corner. And bada boom, bada bing. That is how we do it. Okay, down you go. Now, the, um, why I mentioned the trading, it's important that they're being traded with. To the best of my knowledge, it um, helps with uh, what I'm about to do, which is feed them. And then they should start breeding. So let's just do Control Q. Control Q, drop the food in, and oh, love hearts, that's it, that means that it is working. Oh man, so much work. Now, this is currently set up to do a little infinite loop. They will breed, I'll show you in a minute what's happened down below. The babies will come up here when they grow up, and then at the moment they'll go back down into the breeding cell. Uh, the more villages we get in there, up to a certain number, the um, better rates we get for the babies. So what I'm going to do is clear this off. In typical Hobbit fashion, I've covered my entire base in walls to try and keep things from running away. It's the only way I can get things that I love to stay. Okay, tidy up. We'll finish it off in a minute. What I do want to do before I do anything else is actually put a cap on this. I don't want things falling into it. You know what I mean. I'd like to better see what's going on. Uh, let's see, they come up here. Two high blocks should be enough. I'm going to put an extra one on just to 
case. Mm. Do I should be enough with a glass? I can't have getting glass, so. And then they'll go down there. Alright, so we'll put a solid block. That's not a solid block, that's water. Solid block there. And if you don't have a look, we'll be right here. Mm. Safe way for a change. Let's do something different. Alright, now I'm trying to remember the um, button here. It's hilarious always. Um, if I push the button, when they have extra food, they will throw it and it will get stuck up above there. And they'll stop breeding. So I'm pretty sure that's the off state. And then that's the on state. I will double check that. No one loves. And what happens is when they produce a baby, it all sounds quite horrifying, that will um, fall down there and the water stream will take them around to here. I really should have put some glass here. See, now if I do this, there's a good chance I'm going to have baby villagers escaping. How quickly can I do... I'm still trying to think. I put a sign in there. Let's see if I can see it. That'll be fine. Yeah, on the wrong side, of course. Can I see any babies in there? No, I think it might be safe if I break these two now. Replace the sign. Yep, that's fine. Um, they should be fine actually, because they should jump. They should be alright, so let's just put a uh, glass there. And then we'll be able to come and see if there's any baby. You know what? Let's do one here as well. It didn't work, from there. Um, there. Okay. Watch it up. We'll be able to see if there's any babies in there. When the um, baby's in there, they can't suffocate because there's a sign down there. And then when they grow up, they'll be a full two blocks high. So that block there and that block here, they'll be in water. They'll be uh, caused to jump up and then they'll go up and around. So we'll let this run for a little bit. We'll come back and we'll go get some more food to feed them to help with the process. And just a protective video as well about the, uh, the different states of that. All right, we're back. And I was just showing um, Tukis the thing. Um, I got it. Can you please break? The reason I have nothing in my inventory is because, not because I died, it's not only one death. Yep. Um, <laughs> is because uh, Tuki seems to have aggroed a um, zombie pigment in the um, nether and I did not want to go in there with all my stuff on. So, uh, sunlight is up there. And Hollywood informed me that I can actually uh, put glass over that, so I'll be doing that as well. I've got the uh, wall up there. Um, has wall, will add glass. And we're going to go feed up the uh, villagers, give them a bit more food. Uh, did you see that? That's weird. Uh, you can have to break this for now. I'm going to put some more carrots in, and I want to show you something very special. Ah, okay. Uh, up, up, love hearts. Oh, that broke my knees. We have a baby! Yeah, as you probably saw from the chat as well. I'm a bit excited there. Uh, where is it? We have a baby! Um, the baby librarian. And when he grows up, he will go up and back into the breeding cell. I managed to just stay here for a minute and, uh, We'll witness this miraculous wonder. This will probably take a while though. Okay, well that's that. That's like a few minutes of real world time and it starts to take age to grow up. So we're just going to move on with the next project, which will be to be setting this up to um, be able to extract them easily. I'm going to get my stuff back from upstairs and um, I'll put a trap door here. And what I'm going to do is set this up so that they can come out the back way there. We no longer want them to uh, loop around. And I'm trying to think 
Now that have much set up here. The only thing that sort of I'm not going to be able to move is this. I want to keep that where it is. So I was thinking I might have them come up here and perhaps across here. Uh, the village on that side. What if we had them actually come under? Hmm, the forethought this part might have been better. They could come under the floor here. We need to make it clear so you can see them going under. And eventually I want them to go up here, up to the surface. So perhaps I will make it come under the ground here, turn and then pop up about here. And then I'll keep all the ones that I want to keep for myself along here and have it set up so that the uh, extras go past, up and beyond. All right, let's get set up. All right, been working on the special project to go with the villagers, and Vulcan was very enough, very nice enough to leave me a lot of presents, very important slime balls that I need to uh, continue working on this project. Let me just grab all these. It's very kind of him, and we'll also clean up our mess here. Lovely, nice little bit of a notice board going on. Messages board. A contract between charcoal and Mideast. Uh, that one was um, Charcoal has agreed to fight the Ender Dragon when we do, wearing only gold pants and a fishing hook, I think it is. Something crazy like that. Go away. Alright, so the project I've been working on that I just spoke of is. Da -da -da -da. Spider over there. It's going to be the trade hall. Um, getting everything set up here. The way it's going to work is we're going to have. No spiders involved in it. Go away. Um, from my house over there, we're going to have the villagers getting bread. They're going to come along a little underground path. They're going to pop, in, pop up in here, up to the top level, go all the way around. And they're going to get populated into these cells here. So we're going to put the best way in. I've set it up so we don't get creepers um, wandering in here. And they'll go around, and any cell that's empty, they'll drop into. And um, then we'll be able to trade with them, or we'll be able to kick them out. I haven't decided yet if I want to have it set to um, output to straight into lava, or to have them so that people can take them. I mean, I suppose if we're trading with them, we're going to want to keep them, most likely. Uh, so I have a bit more of a think about that. I might set it up so that all the villages go to a certain area first, and people who want to buy them can beforehand. And then the ones which aren't getting bought get sent over here. And then if the rejects still, then we send them off and keep replenishing that way. So now I've got uh, slime balls for the sticky pistons, and I've got 19 more pistons. I have some more. I always have some iron around somewhere, ready to make the next ones. It's not here. That's not really enough. So let me get some more bits together. I'll make a few more of these little cells, and then I'll try and demonstrate how it works. Ah, and I also forgot. Um, Red Bull Paul bought me a little present. Villager Obesity Fund, and inside I've already used some of it from here. I'm um, going to grab some more food and try and breed up these villages a bit more. I've got it set up at the moment so that they come out. Whoops, keep the food. Put away that and keep that out. Uh, I need the redstone still. Inventory is still a mess. Ah, Hawkinson. Thanks for the slime. Can thank him officially. Um, let me have a look. Got some more food. Now, I'm always scared about these infinite village breeders. For some reason, I've had um, experiences where they stop breeding. So, open this up and I'll chuck all this in. And when they're in this mode where they're bouncing up and down, they should be breeding. But see, no love hearts. Hmm, indeed. Let's have a look over this way. There's no babies in there at the moment. The idea is they breed, the babies go down there, and when they grow up... Um, what's the best way to show it? They come along this path, and then over there, 
block it up again so we don't get some unwelcome visitors. And then down here, up the water elevator to over there. That was one of the original ones that um, happened, and since then I haven't had any more that have come through. So I'm a bit concerned that for some reason this has stopped being a village. Uh, we've still got a guy in there, and we've still got the light up there. So this should be um, a village still. Hmm. I might keep an eye on that and then report back.